This is the iFlight Titan XL5. iFlight sent this to me a uh, embarrassingly long time ago. And I got to tell you, I took one look at it and went, it's freaking, it's humongous and it's heavy. And I just got other things I want to, like I thought I would be super interested in it, but cry. Ugh. But here's the thing. I've been thinking a lot more lately about how weight affects how a freestyle quad flies. And that's led me to build some lighter weight quads, but... Maybe we ought to give Mr. Porky here a fair chance and actually see how a heavier quad flies versus a lighter quad. That's the dumbest video idea in the world. Oh, a heavier quad. Will it fly worse than a lighter quad? Yes. But like, let's just do it back to back and see how much of a difference it really makes. Oh, nine satellites. Excellent. Good. My props are on correctly. Let's... Go fly. And the first thing I want to know is how does it acro? I won't run into you. I almost never run into anything I don't intend to. I almost never run into anything I don't intend to. Well, it gets up there. I'm not like immediately feeling the weight. And these are the, um, I put Ethics S3 props on here. So these aren't even particularly aggressive props. I should really do a back and forth between this and the, uh, uh, the Halo or, or CO Cyrus I built which weighs like 700 grams. This doesn't have a GoPro on it. That's a, yeah, to be fair, I should put a GoPro on this. But why would you put a GoPro on it when you have DJI, baby? I am flying with the uh, DJ, uh, with the Illuminaire Axie HD antennas on my goggles. So I do have directional antennas. Um, giving me a little more range out that direction. But uh, this flies okay. Let's push it a little. Let's see if we can get. Some... Let's see how, if we can figure out how it's tuned. Oh, that's pretty good for a for a porker. He's fine, Issa. He's okay. He's okay. There's a little shutter there. No prop wash there. Yeah, we should put a GoPro on it just to be fair, but flying it without the GoPro, it's not bad. It's not freaking bad. Hey, kid. Oh, I disarmed. I flipped the switch by accident and disarmed. Hey there, folks. It's Joshua from the future here. I keep talking about the Halo RC Osiris. I just realized as I was editing this video, I actually have some flight footage of the Halo RC Osiris flying with a Hero 7 at a weight of 710 grams. That's as opposed to the iFlight XL5 you just watched without a GoPro flying at a weight of 660 grams. So we're about 50 grams heavier here. And in a minute, I'm gonna show you the iFlight Titan XL5 flying with a GoPro at a weight of about 820 grams for so about 100 grams heavier than the Halo RC Osiris. But for now, let's let you watch the Halo RC Osiris fly uh, and see what a difference that extra 50 grams or extra 100 grams is gonna make. Oh, and by the way, there is a full build list for this Halo RC Osiris uh, if you want to emulate it. It's got some pretty interesting parts on it. Uh, I'll let you check that out down in the video description.
All right, so I stuck it on a scale. It's 660 grams without the GoPro. The um, Halo RC Osiris that I built with a GoPro is 710 grams. So this is lighter than that one, but then you put a GoPro on it and it's 820 grams. So now I'm about to fly it at 820 grams and I bet I'm gonna feel it. Let's see. Oh yeah, she's a, she's a chunker now. She's a chunker now. There is, well, there is something appealing about the way, it, oh, there's something appealing about the way a quad like this sort of tosses. You go like this and just give it a big fling and it's kind of nice. Quad this heavy definitely can fly nice, but boy, you can tell. When you hit the throttle, that that weight is there. Still plenty of uh, spin and flick, but just when you hit the throttle, look at that, that's a full throttle punch there. It. Uh, It's working a lot harder. Oh yeah, oh, and the flight's gonna be a lot shorter too. Oh yeah, I'm really having to work the throttle now. Yeah, so I guess what I would say is overall, nah, uh, here's what I would say. If you intend to fly it without a GoPro, yeah, it's pretty good. You can even acro it. Uh, the weight is less than a lightish weight quad with a GoPro. Uh, some lightish, some people would consider 660 grams not to be that light. But uh, on the other hand, if you intend to fly it with a GoPro, I would want like a six inch props. Like if I was gonna take a quad like this and put a GoPro on it and try to fly it. Uh, what? He wants the quad, he wants the controller or something. If I was gonna do this at this weight, I'd be what, six inch props or something and do like a, a long distance cruiser. It wouldn't be trying to acro something at 820 grams, not a five inch at 820 grams. It's just no good. Uh, but there you go. It's a nice quad. It's a very nice quad. I will give it that. <laughs> GPS locked in pretty quick. But uh, yeah, I think it's in a weird spot. Yeah, I think it's in a weird spot. Without a GoPro, it is light enough to acro, but then you gotta ask yourself why you're flying 660 grams without a GoPro when you could be flying 500 grams or something. And then you put a GoPro on it, it's really too heavy to freestyle, but it's not ideal as a long range cruiser because for that you'd want like six inch props or something to get a little more efficiency. Um, so I kind of don't know what's going on here. Do you have any comments? Like, give me the quadcopter? All right, well, I got to give the kid the quadcopter, so I got to sign off. Happy flying, you guys. Do you see this baby? Isn't he cute? Hit the subscribe button. Join my Patreon. Use my affiliate links. Or just keep watching videos. That's better than nothing. Coco Gaga, subscribe to my daddy.